Turbo Power, Vincent, all of these trials leading into that debut win had been at Chungfa. What were your expectations going into the race that day? Yeah, um, you know, I only rode him a uh, couple of gallops before and uh, wasn't too sure how what he is like because um, he never trial here, only in Chungfa. And uh, sometimes Chungfa trials can be quite slow, so I um, wasn't sure how he is. But um, from gallops, his form is okay. Uh, and well, in the, f in the race, he, he performed well. So, uh, yeah, potential horse. It's still a colt, big baby, but uh, yeah, guy ability for sure. That last 100 metres looked good for him last time. Yes, yes. Uh, and I think uh, it sh should run longer than, you know, can handle 12, 14, no problem. So just looking um, at the horse as well too, he's got extra weight to carry this time around. He comes up against horses that he beat last time. Can he win again? Uh, his form is good, so uh, uh, no doubt for that. Uh, but it's, you know, it's hard to say because uh, obviously at plenty of weight, uh, so we'll see. we'll see. And you mentioned before he's obviously a cult said he's a big baby. Is he just immature or does he have other quirks as a horse? Uh, he's still immature but in a positive way. He, you know, he's still still learning during races and, you know, uh, but uh, track work and ev even in the race, everything is so so calm as a colt. Uh, so we're, we're happy for that. And he, he learned quick. So, yeah, it's good. Chad, you won on Dragon Baby on debut. What was your assessment of that win? Yeah, he was impressive. Um, he settled at the, at the rear of the field and as the race went on, um, the better he came underneath me and he was really strong that last little bit, powered through the line. So it was a very good debut and um, he remains in the grade and hopefully he can do it again. He's got the extra weight to carry, but despite that, do you think he can do it again? Yeah, for sure. Um, he gave me a really good feel and I think he's a nice young progressive horse. How much will he have taken from that race day experience too? Um, I'm sure he would have taken some. He's obviously with the right stable and they always improve. And um, Although he was very um, natural and, and, and well educated the other day, I'm, I'm sure he'll take natural benefit. And overall, do you think he's a nice horse? Yeah, he gave me a lovely feel. Um, he really stretched out nicely and attacked the line the other day. Chronic Mighty Chad, you've had a bit to do with him on and off through this preparation. He makes his debut on Sunday. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, I've galloped him a few times. I haven't ridden him in his barrier trials, but um, he's a horse with a nice action. He's not overly big, but he moves really nicely, and we've got a lovely draw, so we're hoping he runs well. And just looking at his most recent trial that he won over 800 metres, he looks like he's got a bit of speed too. Yeah, he's shown good speed, um, and he's also finished off his trials too, which is good to see. Looking at your rides then for Sunday, we've spoken about Tronic Mighty, obviously, Dragon Baby, you've got Fantastic Treasure later on, six rides overall. You're looking forward to Sunday? I oh, am, yeah, nice, a nice book. Um, some nice young horses and, um, yeah, you know, I think the Griffin's a nice ride too, so all in all, a, a, nice, a nice book. Douglas, Russian Emperor, we haven't seen him since the Derby. How's he been? Yeah, he's been ticking along nicely. He's obviously pulled up well from that race. I thought his trial... Uh, 10 days ago was pretty encouraging, so he seems to have held his form. Steps up to 2,400 metres. He raced over at once in the UK in a strangely run English derby. Do you think he'll ravish the distance? I think he will. Um, I think his racing pattern and the way he presented himself in, in, in the derby suggests that um, the 2,400 wouldn't be a problem. I don't think you can read much into the Epsom derby. Um, it was a muddling affair and... Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to be too guided by that particular form, but my horse is in good condition. He's come along in leaps and bounds at his last couple of runs, but is there more to come from him? I think so. I think it's, I've only just started to understand him, and he started to really understand and, and start to physically enjoy um, Hong Kong. He, his first two runs were obviously nowhere near um, where his fitness level and both mentally and physically were, but... I think his last two runs where he finished second in both of those, it was there to be seen that he's, he's improving and um, he's a lovely horse for the future. Overall, it looks like a, a decent field for the Queen Mother this year. What are your confidence levels like? Oh, it's, a, it, it's a competitive field. Um, I think 
uh, Tony Millard's indicated how unlucky he was, or his horse was, in, in the derby. So um, he's going to be relishing st uh, stepping up to the 2-4, and um, he's the horse to beat. Joe, you ride Panfield on the Queen Mother Memorial Cup on Sunday. What do you make of his chances? Oh, his chance is great. I'm extremely happy to have him as a ride, I guess. If he's not a favourite, he's one of, one of the top, top three favourites, and apparently he's in good shape. I think he's going to deliver his best. You rode him a couple of starts ago when he won over 2,000 metres. That day, did he give you the fear of a horse that would run out 2,400 without any issues? Well, he indicates that, that as more ground he goes for, it's going to be better for him. He, if I'm not wrong, his, his form overseas he has been tested over longer distance than what he's been in Hong Kong so far, and he has delivered, you know. So um, I honestly think the distance actually is going to suit him even better. And what did you make of his run in the derby? I know you didn't ride him, but watching him, what did you think? I think his run in the derby was fantastic. Um, with a little bit of more luck, he could have made it even more interesting. He finished off the race. Um, Indicate that if we run another for long, he could be finishing side by side to the winner, you know. So I think his run in the derby was fantastic. And did you like the way that he trialled with you last week? Very much. He's in good shape. What I've been discussing with Tony, I just hope he just maintain his fitness and where he's at the moment. I'm extremely happy. And if, if he does so, I can't see why he wouldn't be giving his best at the races, you know. Yeah. I'm no doubt looking forward to sit on him on the weekend. Last week you won on Sava Quinn over a mile. He lines up in the race as well too. What do you think of him as a horse and does he feel like a stayer too, Joe? He does feel, he does. Uh, he kind of relaxed very well for me during the race. Look, it's a handicap race. Size is putting him in the race for, for a reason. He believes uh, with the lightweight and a tactical race, um, even if a horse that is not a favorite might have a good chance to win, then he's no doubt one of those that has to be respected. Derek Pleasant and Devi, you've got a really good record on this horse. When he won last time out, he took a while to get to the front, but did you always think he was going to win? Well, I think he had a good chance last time, and he in a good, good shape last time, and we just kept a uh, three-year-old, and he carried the top weight. It's quite, quite difficult for him, and finally he did it, and, but he had a tough one last time. So in the morning, he felt like more laid back, more relaxed, more mature. And the trial is okay, just easy trial, and hope he have a good one. Next what, tomorrow. what about stepping up in class this time, Derek? Well, I think the step up the class is no problem for him, and the light weight is going to be help him. Just depends how much he recovered, uh, like last time. So you're two from two on the horse. Do you like him, Derek? Yes, I like him. He is a very professional horse. He is to ride in the morning, in the race too, and. In the, in the future, I think he, he, he can handle 14 or even a mile. And your own season, 35 wins for the season, so even though we've still got a few months left, you're ahead of your total from last season. Do you think you're riding as well as you ever have? Yes, I've been going very good and very smooth this season. I would like to thank you all the support, like China and the owners, and I will just keep working hard. Is there any reason you're getting better rides? Are you performing better yourself, why do you think you're going better this season? Well, I try to be more consistent and more stable and just work hard, try to get less mistakes and why winners. Amazing news, Vincent. The way that he was getting to the line last time out, were you satisfied with that run? Yeah, very, very. You know, after, after some break, uh, a long break, and he performed well last time. Uh, you know, he, ran home really strong and he hangs a little bit but he, you know I'm happy the way he finished uh, extremely well. Steps up to 1400 metres he comes here to Sha Tin obviously the benefit of that run under his belt what sort of expectations do you have for him? Yeah I think Sunday? Mr. Fans uh, think 14 was shoots him more but obviously Jordan Hubbard too much um, but I, I believe he, he will run home very strong. It's the, hopefully some pace on and you know shoots him better and you know even even with draw for 13 he still have, have a good chance for sure. He's obviously a former British horse who you rode in his lead up towards that debut run earlier this season you rode him at his most recent run overall what sort of opinion do you have of the horse? Uh, a nice horse and you know got good ability I think uh, 
and I think now is is almost ready uh, to to win anytime. So uh, yeah, finger crossed, and hopefully you can win this time.